It's a really interesting question how modern humans first came to Europe and how they're related to people who live in the same region today. The paradigm in studies of this period of very old modern humans has always been studies of one or two or three individuals. What we do here in presenting new days data on dozens of people, a total of 51 people from this period, is that we multiply by 10 the number of people from this period for which we have data, and that changes everything. We made a map to show all the samples, and what you'll see in this map is that there are bars of very different heights, from little short bars, which correspond to samples maybe 10,000 years old, and very tall bars that correspond to samples as old as 45,000 years old. The coloring of the bar corresponds to the genetic grouping that we assign the samples to, just guided by the genetic data alone. So the three big changes that we can see in the genetic data are first, that Neanderthal ancestry decreases gradually over time from around 45,000 years ago to the present, starting at about 3 to 6 percent and decreasing to 1 to 2 percent. The second big change is at the end of the last glacial maximum, around 19,000 years ago, a population lineage which had been not observed in our data set in Europe for 15,000 years reappears. It seems to have been hiding out in a pocket somewhere. What we observe in our data is at the very beginning of uh, the modern human occupation of Europe, uh, a new founder lineage is established, which it becomes directly ancestral to all later Europeans until 14,000 years ago. There's two early branches of that founder lineage, and one of them represented by an individual from present-day Western Europe, Belgium, from 35,000 years ago, um, it disappears. Um, so we don't see populations like that again for another 15,000 years. But then 15,000 years ago, we see a resurgence of that ancestry beginning in present-day Spain at the end of the last glacial maximum. And then it spreads into Central Europe, to France and into Germany in the subsequent 5,000 years following the retreating ice sheets and repeopling Northern Europe. And then the third big change and the third big observation is occurs around 14,000 years ago, and it's associated with the first big heat wave at the end of the Ice Age when the ice sheets really begin to retreat very fast. And at that time, a new population appears in Europe that spreads uh, even into the places where the one that spread from the southwest was and replaces it. And that population is genetically much more closely related to present-day Near Easterners. We don't know what the source of this population is. It could be a migration from the Near East, or it could be a migration both into the Near East and into Europe from a refugee population from the Ice Age that was in the southeast of Europe, for example, Greece or Western Asia, um, like Turkey, today's Turkey, that spread in both directions. We don't know. It could be learned with future ancient DNA data.